See, I don't understand how this could be a game. It just looks too real. We don't really kick doors. That's an old school thing. You can actually hurt your knee. I love the flashbang. This flashbang blows everything away right here that is currently out there because other games, when you throw a flashbang, your whole screen turns white and it's so unrealistic because a flashbang doesn't work that way. I have looked and watched the this gameplay over and over again. And it's probably the most realistic shooting game I have ever seen in uh, my entire life. I actually thought I was watching body cam footage with an overlay to make it like video cam. I've been told it's, I think it's the Unreal Engine and this was just a, a, a test to show people what it was capable of. I thought I was watching body cam footage. Apparently this is game footage. Doing attack reload there and we're gonna be going inside, great. I mean, the lighting is just, I, I'm like, for me personally, as a police officer, I'm like there right now. This is like what it looks like from our perspective. And I don't think there's been any game that has caught that. I mean, that's right there, the excitement of, shoot, someone just ran past me, they're chasing after each other. And there, there has to be more of a backdrop to why I got into the OIS. I think this game, if it truly is a real game and it truly comes out, uh, this is going to be a game changer. I mean, this might be one of those things that it actually causes the streaming services to have to reevaluate what we can show because this game looks like I said, a real game. And, you know, we talk about the violence and stuff like that. I mean, this is like this lighting. It's like, and it's incredible. This is exactly what it's like going into a dark room as a cop. I, I mean, I'm listening to the bullets whiz past my head in the game right now. Not 100% accurate, but it does send a, like a little twinge down my spine because I have been in, involved in, uh, you know, in OISs. And when you hear those bullets pass by your head, you get that, that sound. Honestly, even with doing the critique right now, there's a little bit of me that it has having the, the reaction from obviously being involved in situations like this. And this game, like I said, uh, this can definitely give some realism to people like what it's really like. I, I right off the bat thought this would be a great training module for police officers to be able to put them in situations and stuff like that. But let's see when this comes out, if it meets, to, if it comes up to this expectation, because if it does, oh, I, I don't, that every other game is gonna be held to the standard. I mean, truly, truly will. See, I don't understand how this could be a game. It just looks too real. I mean, if the developers get with tactical officers, patrol officers, and study them, study their movements, study what we actually do, they could put together such an awesome game. And, you know, but that's gonna be, it's gonna be really based upon that. It's like, what is our movements and stuff like that? I, I guess just with this technology, you know, it, it allows that perspective like that because the camera is not gonna look realistic in the first place. You know, a body cam footage, well, I mean, it has that realism, but we also we also expect it to be grainy and not as clear. So that's why we can get away with it in these games. This here looks like a typical, like, ready or not, a uh, better version of SWAT 4. Because once again, I mean, look at the movement. The movement was so realistic and unrecord as opposed to this looks like a typical video game mo you know, move where you push the shift button, I can run faster than what would normally be allowed type of stuff. Still still good graphics, don't get me wrong, still good graphics, but as of right now, I'm still putting unrecord up there at the top and this as a second so far. See, this camera angle is not as realistic because most body cam footage, when we have our hands out like that, it's covered because you wear your body cam right here. That's why they're thinking about putting body cams in the lapels, body cams on glasses, so that we have a better perspective. But it does add, for me, being a real police officer, it does add that emotional response for me because I, I have to view body cam footage of my officers and I see the scenarios that are in and it reminds you like when I was in the field, the scenarios that I was in. So it gives you that, that perspective of, you know, put, putting you back in that situation. And, you know, there's quite a few of us that have gone through some very traumatic events and it literally like puts you right back into that. So, and what I kind of like about it, to be honest with you, is I like the fact that viewers get to see the perspective of what police officers really see. This is, the technology in the future is gonna be a super game changer. It, it really, really is. Like this, like right here. Well, first of all, nobody wears, no one carries their gun like that, okay? No, we don't do the Charlie's Angels thing, okay? That is Charlie's Angels, okay? Like, no, we don't want guns like this, okay? No guns like this, please, please. Game developers, put us in the low ready, okay? That's a Charlie's Angels thing, you know? I love the lighting. I mean, it looks hyper-realistic. I love the slow walk. Now, see, like in this game, in this particular scenario, I, I don't know what country they're in. Okay, it's called Lost Fragment, but 
if I could tell people, today's SWAT tactics are very, very different. We no longer, I mean, don't get me wrong, we have stealth operations. However, for the most part, bad people know, our suspects know we're there. So like in this situation, I don't, I'd have to have a whole backdrop and I'm just going based upon what I saw in a few seconds. We would be, this is the police. If you're in this building, come out, let, make yourself known, make yourself known. We have to give them the opportunity to give up and we have to give them multiple opportunities. So we're gonna be making those announcements. This is the police. We have the place surrounded. We know you're in here. Make yourself known. Come out with your hands up, blah, 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 blah. Now, there could be a scenario where they still have to remain stealth, but I'd have to actually take a whole look at that type of thing. So that would be an added element to this if that was you wanted to make this game more realistic. Yeah, ready or not, right now, in my opinion, is the most realistic tactical shooter that's currently out there. There's other games coming up, Zero Hour. I think there's one called SWAT Stories or something like that. This is kind of hitting the mark right now. The devs have a lot of work to do. I've actually personally spoken to the devs and um, I've offered some advice on what I think they should be seeing. This game now, the backdrop of this game, and I'm hoping it comes out, is this is supposed to be a story about a dystopia America where the bad guys are ex-military, ex-special forces, so they're hi highly well trained and then you're going up against this group. If you look at some of the early trailers when this game was first being developed, devs are talking about a lot of updates coming up. They've added some, and I don't know if it's based upon the group that I play with, the fact that we're so hypercritical about this game, but they're starting to add some elements that we like to see as far as, you know, with the suspects, um, with going to the buildings and that type of stuff. So it's been quite interesting to be along with the ride for this game. I think I've been playing this game now for well over a year during development and we're seeing some subtle changes to it and they're positive changes. Still a lot of unrealistic aspects. As a matter of fact, I'll be honest, I think up until about six months ago, a lot of this game had not even been shaded. So we we're going through like just like typical like block buildings and but then they started adding in all the elements and I I'm loving it because they're, they're showing that broken up neighborhoods, crack houses, and a lot of it is starting to look super realistic. As a matter of fact, there's a mission in here that's probably one of the most darkest missions there is, and you're going into a kiddie porn place, and it's just like really disturbing. And what I do like about that particular mission is it really can show people the really disturbing things that police officers see. And if people think that police officers don't see disturb these disturbing things daily, they do. That's the sad part about this, they do. The game has some really good positive things coming and I hope they keep going at it and I hope they don't give up because they definitely do have a winner on their hand once they work out all their bugs. We don't really kick doors. That's an old school thing. You can actually hurt your knee. So we'll use the uh, reaching shotgun. We'll use a ram. Now, if you do kick it, you really, you generally want to kick a hollow core door because a solid wood door, remember, Doors are rated. A lot of people don't realize that doors are rated, but it's great gameplay. Don't get me wrong. It's it's like I said, out of all the games that are currently out there right now, this is probably, like I said, the most realistic, the most clean, visually uh, appealing game that is out there. A lot of the weapons they use are realistic weapons. Of course, there are some unrealistic elements, but they have to add those unrealistic elements to this game to get people to want to play it. So they got to add guns that normally would uh, SWAT operators in America wouldn't use. But I'm okay with that because, like I said, people want to try out new things in games and because they, they're familiar with all these other guns from other games. So I, I get that part that the devs got to add that element. I would say about 75% of this game is kind of a realistic type of stuff. Uh, like right here, the flashbang. I love the flashbang. This flashbang blows everything away right here that is currently out there because other games, when you throw a flashbang, your whole screen turns white and it's so unrealistic because a flashbang doesn't work that way. So I love the fact that you could throw flashbangs. It has that realistic explosion, does what it's supposed to do. So they've made this game so modders can modify it. And so there's a lot of cool things that you can add. You can make your officers in patrol gear, different SWAT teams like LEPD and that type of stuff. So this game does have a lot to offer. And if you're looking for something that's close to, as close to realistic, realistic as you possibly can get, this is gonna probably be, be that game. Oh, also too, like in this game that I've spoken about in previous, this is one of those games where you have to be careful on what you carry. You can only carry so much. You can you have to do your loadout 
and you have to choose how many magazines you're gonna have for your rifle, how many magazines you're gonna have for your handgun, how many less lethal cartridges you're gonna have for a taser. You could switch all that stuff around so that way you can carry more rifle ammo as opposed to more handgun ammo, shake in the breaching shotgun or other breaching tools. So there are some cool elements. And the neat part is there are scenarios where you run out of ammo and now you're just punching people. So it's kind of like, a, it's a kind of a neat aspect to that. Okay, so the unrealistic part of this game, let me talk about that part. The unrealistic part of this game is the AI. It is almost using aim bots. You come around the corner and you're dead in a second. You didn't even have a chance to fight back. And myself and the other people I play with, that is probably our biggest gripe we have with the game is the unrealistic aim bot that um, are the suspects. If they fix that, they would probably have a very good winner on their hands. Now this right here, this is what it would look like in the shield right here that is the view that you have also you are not your your shooting is kind of off because you don't get to use your sights because you can't bring your hand around to the shield so you're literally almost point shooting at that time and a lot of people who are responsible for the shield learn how to point shoot better because you can't get that gun all the way around where you're always on your sights like this. So they have to come around that shield because that's what that shield is offering, that protection for the rest of the team behind that. Um, I do like the fact that they took that into account with this game as well. And what I like about this is that when you look at the operators, when you're actually playing with other people and they're utilizing the shield, they actually have the shield on the back. So it's not; it just doesn't appear out of magic like you see like in some other games. So they did take that into account as well. Yeah, and on this too, I don't know how much the devs, I don't know how much technology will allow, but that's also a frustrating part is like, you'll hit somebody with the shotgun and they don't roll back. It's like, they're like, oh, uh, I'm okay, uh, shoot me again. So that wouldn't really happen. I mean, they would hurt them enough that it would kind of like sting them a little bit, even with the bulletproof vest. So I don't know if devs can really fix that. If that's just, I'm asking too much of that out, out of them. But I'm just, look, like I said, I, I, you know, I would love to try to help to put the most realistic tactical shooter out there for people to play because at the end of the day, that's what a lot of people are doing, especially with the mods. I mean, they're, they're adding mods to make it more realistic. So, so yeah, I, I, like I said, I don't know if that's the case, but yeah, this is actually, I, I love this game. Um, lock picking, not realistic. We're just gonna break it open. We don't have time to sit there and lock pick crap. Though we have lock, we have officers that do have lock picking skills. I think I watched someone lock pick a door twice in that 22 years. So this goes to show you that yeah, we just, we just break them down. Yeah, this is some cool stuff, but there are other experts that are doing the same thing I'm doing and you're gonna wanna watch those videos as well. So make sure that you follow Experts React on both Facebook and YouTube. Until next time, ladies and gentlemen, peace.